Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Nick from Noobkill coming at you with another Madden video today. Here's some more sneak peeks for next season's Madden Mobile. If you guys haven't checked out the other sneak peek video I posted a couple days ago, go ahead and check it out. But yeah, this video is going to be about some gameplay and talking about some other stuff as well. Um, but yeah, if you guys went ahead and saw the other sneak peek video, you guys would have seen when I went ahead and bought a pack, we get two options now to go ahead and open up the pack or hold on to the pack. So that's a really nice feature that they added for next season. Um, the consoles always had that, but Madden Mobile last season did not. Once we bought the pack, we had to go ahead and open up the pack right away so yeah a lot of you guys had a lot of questions about that where do the packs go and a lot of stuff like that so what you do you want to go ahead and open up this tab on the left i already saved off three uh live event packs uh to show you guys this so right there on my team right there that little tab it has the little red circle with number three on it <clears throat> that was because um, like I said, I saved three packs uh, to show you guys this. So we're going to go ahead and follow that red circle. Okay, so we're going to go ahead to click my team. And then once they're on the top right hand corner, you guys see view items. It says number th uh, the red circle with the number three. So we're going to click that again. And right there at the top right, once again, unclaimed items. It has that red circle. So we're going to go ahead and click that again. So here are some event packs, guys. So Veterans got a whole brand new logo. And when I first saw this at the play test, I was really wowed. Um, of the new play art um, packs as of uh, the card arts and everything like that so veterans has a new pack art um, game changers has the same logo but the pack art with the blue and yellow is very nice and then uh, the drills pack instead of having an orange pylon they actually reverse the color so it's a, a gray pylon on an orange pack so very nice the free agent logo looks very nice as well uh, the fa are nice and gold and it's kind of like in a rectangle it looks really sick um, but yeah these are where you go ahead and get your unclaimed items or your open later packs uh you guys said what's the benefit for holding on to packs or whatever so for me to give you guys a good clarification or give you guys a good understanding here's my example um so let's say legendary packs are in the store right now for three days um and the new batch for ultimate legends drops so <clears throat> two new ultimate legends dropped um there's legendary packs in the store so you have enough coins to buy the legendary packs but you don't feel like the legendary players for this week are that fire so the two legend players that they dropped you're like and eh, they're not the best so you bought the packs but you held on to it now next week the week after that batch a new batch dropped with two new ultimate legends and you think those two legends are the best they're your favorite legends and you want to try to get a, a chance at those guys so legendary packs are not in stores the week those fire legends come out but they did when the not so fire legends came out and you held on to your packs you can go ahead and use the packs that you held on to try to get the new legends that came out so uh, that kind of answers a big question for you guys said that if i go ahead and buy a pack in like week one um i want to go ahead and open up the pack in week 15 is it going to still have the same batch as week one and the answer to that is no so whenever you go ahead and open up the pack it's going to have the freshest batch of cards in it so if you bought them in week one you can get the players uh from that batch from week like uh 13 so on and so forth so that's like a really big nice handy thing um about the open later packs and holding on to packs that you can go ahead and kind of um hold on to them and really open them and do a big splurge when you really feel like it so even if you wanted to never open up a legendary pack from the beginning of the game so you held on to every single legendary pack and once they stopped making legends you opened up like x amount of packs because you bought them all the time you never opened up one you're gonna have a huge pack opening and a really nice thing is they do not expire in the pack on un unclaimed items as well so you can um have as much items as you can or you can hold on to them as long as possible until there's reset i guess for next season um so that's a really nice thing another thing you guys wanted to know about is we'll go to sets click the wrong button there and of course there's only so much i can show you guys but uh, i want to show you guys this so last sneak peek you guys saw the large quick so i showed you guys that um but you guys noticed that the requirements to go ahead and complete the set have changed so last season it was four gold trophies and six silver trophies now this upcoming season to go ahead and complete the large quick sale you will need five bronze trophies five silver trophies and four gold trophies so a total of 14 items so they actually changed the uh layout actually for sets as well so we're gonna go into that and as you can see there's a bronze trophies silver trophies and uh gold trophies stacked there um so so last season um the maximum of, of items you can go ahead and put in a set would be 10 uh just because there's only 10 slots but for this upcoming season there that changes now as you can see for the large quick sale you'll need 14 items 5 plus 5 plus 4 um but yeah 
Um, they also changed how you put it or kind of put it in. They just stack on top of each other. So I thought that was kind of cool. Unfortunately, they, they didn't. Uh, they did not add um, um, an automatic like do like a multiple amount of sets at once, like quick uh, quick fill for ten sets. So unfortunately, they didn't do that. But taking out the items are faster as well. Instead of clicking it, then saying confirm to take out the item, you just go ahead and tap it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the gold ones, then silvers and bronze. So I'm just going to tap it. As you guys can see, it quickly just goes out of the uh, set right away. And another huge question you guys asked, since the requirements change, did the rewards change for the large quick sale? And the answer to that is no so unfortunately they did up um bump up the requirements for the large quick sell but it's still between a thousand coins and one million coins but yeah that's kind of new uh stuff you guys wanted to see and i want to show you guys as well stuff you guys wanted to see um let's go ahead and jump right into the gameplay guys all right guys so let's jump right into the gameplay i played a bunch of seasons games as well since the last time you guys saw um i'm actually at the super bowl game now and we're playing against the seattle seahawks so the patriots versus seahawks rematch um i actually i don't think i have any patriots players on my team so it doesn't really matter um but yeah let's go ahead and jump right into this gameplay i want to go ahead and show you guys uh playmaker mode right away so i'm gonna go ahead and receive the ball um because playmaker mode guys is so fun it is so fun guys um so super bowl 50 here it is guys it actually looks nice i don't think on the current madden mobile when you go ahead and play the super bowl it gets like the black background and everything this uh super bowl 50 should be played in san fran i believe this year so we should be in the san francisco stadium um but yeah blocking i felt got a lot better since last season um we as you guys saw i pick up a good amount of yards on the kick return um but let's go ahead and show you wide receiver mode so how you guys do that you go ahead and click a play and to get to the wide receiver you had to click play yard and tap on them or you can go ahead and swipe between them which i felt is really handy so you can go back to the quarterback we have four seconds to snap the ball we're gonna go ahead and just snap the ball with this wide receiver here um and we just run our route and then call for the ball and it is unbelievably easy guys um as you guys just see right there i picked up the easiest first down like how easy is that and it's just so fun to play around in uh playmaker mode so you can either click the player or just swipe back and forth like i'm doing here and it's really nice that you can go really right back to the quarterback and make up your mind um but yeah what play we're doing so we're doing slants what i really want to show you guys see how this guy's supposed to slant inwards i'm just going to run straight and show you guys how easy it is you don't even have to run your route and he catches the ball and i almost got in the end zone right there but you don't even have to run your own route and you can get easy first downs but once again i gotta mention this i am playing in season one and it's easy to go beast mode on uh season one of course but still it's so fun uh just to play around i kind of tapped the touchdown a little too quickly there but i'll show you guys when i get the ball back but we're gonna go ahead and get a two-point conversion as the receiver which is really fun to do as well so i'm gonna go right there and get the ball and catch it with the marco murray right there and there we got the two-point conversion so easy as that it's just so fun wide receiver mode uh when i actually first time i played tested this um in orlando when i was going to orlando uh, of course I, f I knew that there was going to be this new mold because of their little articles that they've been releasing so i was really intrigued i was like how is it gonna fare how is it gonna play um and how is it gonna feel i guess so when i got there i went ahead and tested that right away once they gave me a device to go ahead and play test um they're like go ahead and try wide receiver mode and i'm like okay how do we do that so they had went ahead and showed me that and it flows so fluently guys that it's just unbelievable how fluent it feels and how smooth and clean it is um i also do want to mention i played madden mobile on on ipad ipad mini and my iphone 5s right now i am playing on iphone 5s as well i don't know about the smaller devices as ipods and stuff like that if it will still work but I believe um, if you have a little older device, they just tune down some of the graphics and stuff like that. So stuff will run on your devices. I hopefully, I don't know how far back you can go ahead and play on devices, but they told me that um, they will kind of tone down some of the graphics and stuff that you can go ahead and play. So you still can play on the older devices. I don't know exactly how far back, but you still can. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just try to get the ball back so we can show you guys some more playmaker mode because that is just so fun, guys. Um, I also do want to mention I played some head-to-head -head games. It was so fun, um, but I'm actually happy. Playmaker mode is not in head-to-head, -head. and a lot of you guys might be like, why are you happy about that? It's just because it's so OP. Like, you cannot stop it. Like, 
that would just be like no one would win head-to-head -head games everybody would just be running as the right receipt as a wide receiver and just easily picking up first downs that it would just be like a joke i guess um so unfortunately we do not have on a playmaker mode in head-to-head -head. but yeah let's go ahead and try to stop the ball here um but yeah like i was saying there is no um play, play you can't use playmaker mode in uh, head to head so i'm guessing since you can't do in head to head i don't think you can go ahead and do uh playmaker mode in wide um league versus leagues which i think is fair um but yeah so for wide res um not wide receiver mode for head to head i should say for scouting 2.0 where you go ahead and kind of scout against the opponent's um team or see what your matchups are i don't really know if you can pull that up on season mode um but you can do that in head to head so the cards actually just pop up it doesn't bring you up to like a new screen it just has the players cards floating around on top of the heads and when you click onto the people or the players it'll tell you uh what their overall is what's your overall and you can do a little matchup so it doesn't slow you down anytime i kind of found it was just a little annoying just because they would always be on the screen um like there would be three cards on the screen at all times but it kind of ruins your look for your um your routes for your guys to run around in so it was kind of annoying let's see how it plays out it it is a nice feature but i just found it was a little in the way sometimes but as uh no sean moreno's just i'm just fooling around right now and this is just too easy i want to pick up a, a good amount of yards and show you guys some more wide receiver mode but before i do that i want to show you guys the throw the ball out of bounds the trash button uh so how that works is you're gonna have to be the quarterback of course snap the ball and run out of the pocket for the little uh button that light up so as you guys see i'm out of the pocket so i'm gonna throw the ball out of bounds we're gonna do that again but hopefully a little quicker so i don't use up too much time because i want to get another touchdown uh so we'll snap the ball uh we're actually gonna get sacked here so it sucks that you have to be out of the pocket to get the animation to trigger because as you guys saw i couldn't even throw the ball out of bounds there um but let's go ahead and try to get another touchdown we're going to go ahead and throw it in the end zone hail mary does he catch it and he does so as you guys see touchdown has a nice the top bar kind of like has stars that kind of flicker i really like that they also did add that to the update team so when you update the team it says update team it has like kind of stars like like glittering i thought that was a really nice addition as you guys saw there the the animation for the touchdowns unfortunately they still do not have faces so i thought that was very sad to see i did i messed up on the two-point conversion there i was not really looking at what was happening nice background screen says madden football which is really nice um but yeah wide receiver mode is just so fun the new i guess all around in general the new season feels so clean um everything flows really fluently and it's just amazing guys i just can't wait for august 19th um to finally hit so we can go ahead and play as much as we can and i can reveal everything to you guys but um here it is we go ahead and almost sack him he did throw the ball out of his hands um but let's try to get at least one more touchdown um before the end of the game or before i wrap up this video i should say so let's get the pick here and we do so can we get a pick six actually and i ran right into the guy's arms but let's try to get another touchdown with wide receiver mode and we're gonna go ahead and use slants double slants and i'm gonna show you again you don't even have to run your route uh which is amazing but my quarterback got sacked there um so we're gonna try to run our route a little quicker not run our route i should say uh, just run out be on the first yard line and my guy's just getting sacked like profusely so we're actually for third and 14th so we're actually going to play as the quarterback here and snap the ball um they did add the snap ball button i thought it was kind of like man i kind of like snap tap, tapping the screen to get the ball to snap anywhere um but i really liked it as well because now that it's just like a, a touch of a button to switch to a receiver like when i was at the play test i would, was kind of talking so i would kind of go back and forth or be kind of just clicking all over the screen and and then i would just by accident click onto receiver and i thought i was the quarterback so it is nice that they put the snap ball button so you're not by accidentally touching onto receiver and not trying to play or be the receiver i guess so the snap ball button is actually really handful and they actually i think that's a new touchdown animation so they actually added some new touchdown dances which i thought was really nice because some of them were they were getting a little boring um but they added some new ones so it's nice that we're getting some new touchdown celebrations um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and actually end this sneak peek right here uh for this gameplay and stuff like that tell me what you guys think of the new gameplay of playmaker mode tell me in the comment section if you guys think it is op as well um but yeah 
that is some new sneak peeks go ahead and drop a comment below if you guys would like some more sneak peeks as well I'll try to get you guys some more before the new season happens but yeah um i want to thank you guys for watching you guys in order to tune into for everything mad and mobile and that's right here on the channel i want to thank you guys for watching please hit that subscribe button leave a like on this video and i'll catch you guys soon peace What's up?